Hello there. I do hope you're well. Um, I'm going to let you into an important secret. Many of you won't know that in a previous life, I was in fact one of Henry VIII's wives, Catherine of Aragon. Many kind people have pointed this out to me. I mean, this is just one of my um, past lives. I've also been the bloke from something about Mary, this swimmer, um, the man from the hills have eyes, and pretty much anyone bald. Great, eh? But today, I am going to concentrate on Catherine of Aragon, and I'm going to visit one of my old haunts, um, the Tower of London, the place where I consummated my marriage to Henry VIII, just to see if I still feel any tingling downstairs. All right, well, let's go. <coughs> Another ride, that simple. The Tower of London. I mean, to the casual eye, it is impossible to tell that it's the 21st century. But uh, let's go inside and have a look. As far as I can tell, it is just me and foreign language students. I mean, my, my perfect day out. nothing I like better than looking at someone's crown jewels. Let's hope they've all been shaved down. <coughs> got some major bullshit going on there. You're not even allowed to take photos or take camera. So I've recreated what the crown jewel experience is like for you right now. According to legend, if um, that raven or one of his six mates ever leaves the tower, then the, uh, the queen gets uh, queen gets probably gets. I think it's to do with finger bombing. Something to do with finger bombing. All of these um, foreign language students are waiting to be executed, so that's something to look forward to later. I am now going to go into the White Tower and see some more historical shit. The secret to defeating King Charles in his armour is to definitely go for the dick area. I'm in the White Tower, which is where Prince died sadly earlier on this year, along with his little brother. The main thing that I've enjoyed is watching ravens almost bite children. I'm glad they're still here for that reason only. Nowadays, the main form of torture here is having to share the space with lots of foreign exchange students. Well, that's it, Tower of London. Moderately boring, a lot of stone, didn't see any of the ghosts you're supposed to have seen. Mainly walking upstairs to empty exhibitions behind um, old men. So, if you enjoy that sort of thing, come along. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you next time. Bye.